you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm doing my everyday makeup routine so it was a little bit all over the place not going to lie i didn't really <laughs> talk about too much of the products but i hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to see what i do on like a regular basis then keep on watching and let's get straight into the video hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm filming a get ready with me so I have my makeup here, but also over here. This is just the guest traveler makeup bag. I have some of my everyday makeup that I wear in there, but how are we all? We're just doing a little get ready with me today. Um, I don't have too much on today. I have training and then, um, so I'm just doing my makeup for this morning to make myself feel good, a bit put together for the day, and then I'll rub it off before training. But let's get straight into the makeup routine. So first of all, I've already gone ahead, actually no I haven't, what am I talking about? I've already gone ahead with my eyebrows and lashes but I haven't done any moisturizers. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, moisturizer. It is so lovely and it's so moisturizing. So I'm just gonna rub that into my skin. Dogs bark all the time when like they hear like literally any noise, they just bark. <laughs> this is honestly my favorite moisturizer i've used some high-end products drugstore products and this is my favorite one that i use so far so i really love this one then i'm gonna go in with a primer the primer i've been using lately is the mecca maxima bring on illuminating primer i love this primer it's really like it says illuminating and nice but i'm just gonna go ahead and put this onto my skin so i'm so excited today my lego set is coming i'm going to japan at the end of the year so i thought i would build a japan architect lego set which is super exciting so yeah that is fun so i'm gonna build that over the next few weeks and see how long it takes me um phoebe got me the statue of liberty for my birthday it's over here I literally love it. It's all built. She like built most of it because I'm like so bad and productive. Like, I, I'm not that productive. So like when I start something, if I don't have like energy, I'm like, I can't do it. But like I'm so ready to do the another Lego set because that was like the best gift I've ever gotten. So thank you, Phoebe, if you're watching this, um, for the Lego that I got for my birthday. But I'm now just going in with some bronzing drops. These are the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops from Drunk Elephant, obviously. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my skin. Now it's a bit dark, but with foundation, it like just glows through the skin. Some days when I don't wanna wear match makeup, I will just go ahead with a moisturizer and add these bad boys into it. But yeah, I've got so many cool videos coming soon, so I know in my last video when I said I'm doing mental health in TAFE, um, a lot of people were like messaging me on Instagram saying that is awesome. So thank you guys. I'm really excited about it. So I can't wait to get started with it. Um, I've got to ring them today just to double check about everything. But um, I'm actually going to get a desk today because i need a desk but i before anything i actually need a laptop i do an update about my medication because some people do ask like what am i on less medication now or the same i'm on um some adhd meds so my adhd meds is dexphenamine so i take some at lunch and some in the morning and then i'm on less mood stabilizers but a higher dose of one so i take one mood stabilizer um is that right? One mood stabilizer, yeah. And then one antidepressant and just like some PRN. But I'm loving, I'm not loving, I don't like taking medication, but I really do like this combination I'm on at the moment. It is really good for me. Um, I feel like it's probably the best combo I've been on. After all these years, it's taken me ages to find what medication is right for me. And finally, these medications don't cause weight gain. So I'm really grateful for that because I obviously had history of an eating disorder and still struggle with it some days. But find that like having those weight gain meds were really impacting my life. Like, um, and my mind, I so to speak, like it was really impacting the way I was thinking. So 
yeah I just am so glad that I have a doctor that like listens to when I say I don't want any weight gain meds and stuff like that whereas back in the day I didn't really know about like all the weight gain medications and stuff but some of those meds did help but in the long run were just making me feel really sad and not happy within myself which also impacts your mental health so and your mind being um so yeah i'm really happy with my medication that i'm on now which is awesome I take the kat von d locket translucent powder and i'm just gonna bake now i i'm just gonna go underneath the eyes like so on a beauty blender i know i use this for my um what's it called for my foundation but i literally just ordered from shein their care bears they have like a Care Bear thing going on at the moment and it's back. They've always had Care Bear stuff, but I honestly, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer Timu or Shein? I haven't received my items from Timu first, but I have ordered so much cute stuff off Timu and I'm like, you can't find that stuff on Shein. Like I feel like Shein is probably better for clothes, but like Timu has some awesome, awesome kawaii and like cutesy kind of Hello Kitty stuff and that's what I'm really into um so yeah i ordered a lot of like stationary items for that another place that's really good for like um hello kitty and stuff it's aliexpress i've ordered some stuff but it just takes so long to get to you i'm just like why why does it take this long like i just want to pick it in my cart and then it come tomorrow like next day delivery but like don't we all wish that it would be like that um but it's sadly not but that is okay it's good to wait and it's exciting to come but i would definitely do a what's in my bag because i ordered um two tote bags from oh, i actually ordered a few but like different bags but i ordered like everyday bags from timu like the tote bag mark jacobs dupe um so i'm going to be doing a what's in my bag i even got a purse organizer because i'm so over taking a bag every day and like having to like and forgetting stuff because i change my bags whereas if, if i just have one bag that i have every day that has everything in it and i can switch it up over time then it'll be perfect so what's in my purse will be coming soon but this is the fenty beauty that i just put on my face the fenty beauty pro filter in 140 and then because i've done my lashes and eyebrows i normally go ahead and do that now but i've already done it just to save some time i'm taking the natasha denona contour sculpting powder and you only honestly need a little bit of this like a little bit of this goes a long way and i'm just going to put that onto my skin obviously my face and apply that like so but i hope you guys are all going well i really want to do an update on my recovery page but i was reading the comments yesterday on my i'm back video and a lot of people wanted therapy vlogs so I will definitely do some therapy vlogs. I just have my support workers. If you didn't know, I have NDIS now, which has really helped me immensely. I have two support workers, independents that help me um, from Monday till Thursday. And then like the weekend and Friday I have off because people are home. But it really has helped me and it will help when I move out in the future. I'm not moving out anytime soon, but in the future to help me kind of be more independent but i've already learned so much stuff having like these support workers so yeah but this is the powder i really love it and then for blush i'm going to take the milani luminoso blush and this one i love just taking that on a blush brush it's nice because it's a bit like this already had residue on it but it's a bit like i don't know like as you can see that like glowy shiny bit i don't know if it's coming up this it would be a lot better if i had my camera but i don't and it's literally not turning on and i don't know why because i literally there's nothing wrong with it so i don't know why it's not turning on but i'm just going to go ahead and apply this blush on here so um if you didn't know why i wear wigs um, I also shaved my head in December, but I think I showed you guys on my recovery page. So my head hair is growing out, but it's just annoying because it's taking so long. It's just blonde underneath, but it's like a really kind of untoned blonde because I went, I had really nice blonde hair that had regrowth 
and all that stuff from growing it out and then I just put red underneath because I wanted to go red which looks ridiculous on me and then I wanted to go brown to fix it that same day and then now I'm just like I like the blonde but it's just so not um toned so I can't really wear my short hair out and I've always had a thing where I like having long hair like I don't I don't mind if it's like this length or this length but I just don't like when it's like really really short I just feel really self-conscious so I just want it to grow out for like holidays to like here but even like a little bob like this color to like here would look really cute I can't wait for that to happen so I'm just growing out my hair and I just wear wigs at the moment like and when I feel like different days feel like wearing different things I can honestly just like put a brown wig on a blonde wig on a wig with a fringe you know what I mean like it's just fun I really love wigs um and then I'm gonna go ahead with my lip combo and this is the Kylie um cosmetics lip stick in babe and then I take the MAC boldly bare um lip liner but I actually do a bit differently I like to show my lip liner so like that definition but I don't know how to really do lip liner so I go ahead and put the lipstick on like so I feel like this video is all over the place but I'm just getting back into the hang of filming videos so hopefully they get better soon um and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the boldly bare lipstick lip liner sorry and then go not like overlining our lips too much I kind of just make you like that definition as you can see Kylie Cosmetics lip stick so drying. So I'm taking this makeup glaze, makeup revolution gray glaze, sorry, lip oil with cherry seed oil. It's so good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and put that on my lips. Actually, it's so nice and it smells amazing. It's like a clear lip gloss, so you could also just use this. I use it as a clear lip gloss now, as you can see, it has all like lipstick stuff in it but I really want to get one just to wear that's just like to wear on it just when I want like a natural lip and then I never wear eyeshadow really like I don't really like the look of it so I'm gonna go ahead just with some bronzer and put this on my crease um just a little bit like so and then I like a bit under here too like that I'm just gonna blend. Oh, blend that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my mascara and then do a really light amount underneath. Just like that. Most days I'll go ahead and take a brown eyeliner and do it underneath, but not today. I'm just thinking of using it like this. And I think that's actually everything I did for my brows. They don't look the best, but I used the Morphe Brow Pomade in Mocha and then also the Gimme Brow. This is just a sample from Benefit. I all enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place and I was a little bit, I feel a bit shy, honestly, on camera, but I'll get back into it. But I'll see you guys all in the next video and have a lovely day and hope you guys are all well. Bye, guys.